Good morning. So, it's last day out here at the uh, ranch and figured I'd talk about um, a couple of the hog traps that we have out here on the property that uh, my uncle had custom made. Now, this one as you can see is a, we call this one the circle trap. It's a big circle, so it's cylindrical. And it has a, uh, a hinged swinging door that of course comes in just like so. Um, the spring, the metal spring has gotten a little worn out over the years so we put a little bungee on here to help bring it all the way in just so it stays just inside this little this little edge here so if you do trap any hogs in here they're not going to be able to you know catch the edge of this and pull it pull it back open um, they technically could bite it and fight their way out but generally they're just you know once they get in here they tend to get upset and start ramming the door and sometimes they'll even jam it to where the door will get stuck and it doesn't want to go forward or backward unless you just kick the heck out of it but you can see it has a little platform over here and you put a little bit of corn on the other side there we had a pig in here the other day that threw a hissy fit and he broke this panel loose off of this side but we've had this since uh, this trap's probably about 16 18 years old maybe even a little bit older than that i'm i forget how long we've had it out here um because my uncle he he uh he commissioned his buddy to, to to build this one for him and and we have another one i'll show you guys here in just a couple minutes but um i just thought i would show some of the design features of it there is a uh, a hollowed out little pole here and we have some just steel rods and you know you heated them up with the blower torch to kind of create a little J hook effect here. So when you pull your door, when you pull your door back, you can see how that edge you just lift up on the uh, on the platform a little, and it'll catch that edge. So um, anything above, you know, anything above a you know 20 pound little piggy is going to set off that platform it's fairly sensitive um but just so you guys can see you know this is one example of a uh, a functioning homemade hog trap but let's go ahead and jump over to the other one it's a little bit bigger it's a big rectangle trap and I'll let you guys take a look at that one That's a good small example of what hogs will do. And a bigger one right there. And here is the other trap that we have and this hog trap generally can hold um, you know gosh however many can fit in here most we've ever caught in here was about five at a time but it just uses a simple uh, solid swing door you know um, this is probably one of the most one of the most common styles of hog traps you'll see um, generally they're just big rectangles and that's basically what this is you got your steel rebar your cattle paneling if you were trapping hogs and taking them down to the uh, local slaughter butcher shop um, you can load them up in your trailer with this door here it simply just slides on up and you can let the pigs in just set it off so the trigger effect on this trap is a wire cable that we put about five to six inches above the ground and generally you want to have it in the middle um, it had been broken off we had caught in a trap in here and the hog broke it off so we rewired it up and I wasn't even really thinking and I moved a little too close to this back section where we usually drop the uh, the corn mixture or the bait um, but as you can see there's a big old coil spring here that pulls this door in nice and tight and just like on that other hat trap you know there's a nice little edge here for this for the edge of the door to uh, to lock into so they can't work their nose into that 
this panel here, I had to zip tie this in because um, we had about three or four hogs that had gotten in here. And we keep a tram trail camera just over there. And uh, one of them, they were a little bitty, but one of them had hit it hard enough on this rebar and it was just a little old and rusted out and was able to break it loose. And I have it actually just sitting here in the corner, but haven't had a chance to bring a, a welder out here to fix it. So just went ahead and uh, zip tied that little panel on there to uh, prevent them from squeezing through there again. But overall, very effective design, works, works well. Um, Trigger's fairly simple, and even if um, you know if additional hogs, you know, let's say there's a sow in here, and you know, you'll have some young boars, some young boys that might want to push their way in. They're actually able to push this door open, but of course they will not be able to get back out. Anywho, I think that shows the overall design of this this big rectangle trap. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.